French counterintelligence analysts suggest that France and Germany may ask the U.S. Uh, to agree to a code of good conduct for intelligence gathering. But will the gesture be enough to repair the damaged relationship? Joseph Whipple is a former CIA officer and is currently a professor at Internet of, excuse me, of international relations at Boston University, and he joins us on the phone. Joe, it's good to talk to you. Thanks for taking a uh, minute with us. We do appreciate it. And thank you. Uh, there's been some some speculation that uh, in this particular case that some of these countries, particularly France and Germany, doth prote protest too much. What's your reaction to their reaction? Well, I think, um, uh, you know, uh, especially in Germany, uh, privacy is an issue uh, that is very important to them uh, based on their history, which is quite a ways back now. Uh, but in which the uh, government had control over communication. So I understand that that privacy issue is very important to them. On the other hand, um, you know, it's never been illegal for the United States to, to monitor the communications of foreign nationals, especially foreign leadership. And, you know, Mrs. Merkel is very, very important, you know, rated... Uh, in Forbes, uh, after President uh, Obama is the second most important person in the world. I would also like to add that this may just be kind of a, uh, well, it's, 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 a it's a spat uh, after a number of things, I think, that have graded on the relations between the United States and the Europeans. And they concern, concern things like uh, climate change, uh, uh, the Middle Eastern peace talks, uh, the gun culture of the United States, health care as it's uh, debated in this country and accepted uh, over there. So there, I think there may be a lot of things under the surface, you know, that have been, you know, kind of uh, areas of tension that haven't really come to the surface. And this particular incident has just kind of revol evolved into something much more heated than anyone could have expected without these other things under the surface. And wouldn't we be a bit naive, Joe, to believe that some of our allies don't also at least try to spy on the U.S. as well? Well, I think they probably would like to if they could, uh, but this is also an issue of capability, and that NSA just has capabilities that no one in the world has. Uh, I think others like uh, Russia and China would like to develop capabilities like this. But the technology that goes into these things are extensive. And the cooperative agreements that we have with a number of European countries, which I, I presume exist, you know, we get access, but they get uh, technology they could never afford. That goes not only for intelligence, uh, signal intelligence, uh, but also for defense matters. Joe, do you think they have any real leverage to negotiate what they've called for, this some sort of good uh, conduct code? Well, yeah, I think they, they do. I think that what they would like to do is get into the, the Five Eyes system uh, that we have with the United Kingdom, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. It's an old World War II uh, unit uh, in which there is sharing of intelligence uh, from signal intelligence. And then there are also restrictions on monitoring uh, each other's uh, communications. I think they would like to get into that, but others would like to get into that as well. And I, I, I personally think that maybe that Five Eyes has outlived its use, usefulness. I mean, World War II is over, and it should be over. And, and maybe we just need partnerships with as many countries as we possibly can. Joe Whipple, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care.